hello everyone hope you're doing well thank you very much for watching my videos those who are new hi i'm indu and welcome to my channel i have a request about what plants are in my dining room so if you've seen my previous video the fertilizing video you've seen my plants in the living room and these are a few plants in my dining room here's my philodendron white princess this is really really pretty um, big giant leaves um, you can see my small white princess in my living room video and um, this one is a huge one and um, producing really huge leaves she used to be in my plant room and the light in there was so strong so it got burned so after I moved her here, she's producing really nice big giant leaves and she seems really happy and no burn marks, so I'm happy too. And this moss pole I made by myself, this is not very good, it looks ugly but yeah, it does the job. <laughs> and here, this planter is from Tikimax. It has got some legs, so it's pretty good to elevate the plant. So that's my philodendron white princess. This planter is from Amazon. It has got some wheels as well, so you can just move around. And it locks as well, so it's pretty good for if you have children. You can just lock it. And uh, here is my burrow's tail. I call her touch me not because every time I touch, she just falls. She just drops her leaves. So, yeah, she's doing well and um, hanging nicely. You can sun stress her as well, but um, yeah, it goes like um, yellowish, reddish type of color. But mine is not that much sun because uh, this window just gets like two hours of evening sunlight. So it's perfect for them, but not too hot. So yeah, this uh, is just a regular candle holder. I made it as a planter so my boros tail can hang down. So yeah, doing all right down here is my pennywort um i think it's a pawn plant outdoor plant but uh, yeah this is given by my friend and it's doing well i put her in pond and water and she's nicely growing so yes yeah, she's happy she looks happy that's my pennywort and here is variegated peace lily I have. She's really pretty, a very easy plant. If you're a new plant parent, beginner, this would be really nice to your collection. If you like variegated plants and yeah. And this is growing like new shoots everywhere. You can see here, there as well. Yeah, she flowered a lot already and this is the last flower I kept um, I took out lots of flowers already the flowers is white and it gives like nice perfume as well the flower smells really nice and uh, as they mature so they goes green and green and then later on it becomes brown and dies off so yeah that's my variegated peace lily which is really really easy plant you just water them and they just live and here is my begonia looking glass if you have seen my unboxing video she's in there and she's growing nicely she's really bushy that's begonia looking glass down here i have tradescantia jose puig love the deep purple back in them really pretty and they get like white flowers in them and the contrast is really really pretty when the flowers that's Stratus Jose Puig 
and here is my pink princess seems to be really really lovely and pretty but now she's getting ugly sorry about that yes she is ugly uh, if you have seen my instagram you can see pictures all over there you can see it's really really pretty always uh, produced half half moon leaves there and um, later on you can see here it was 70 percent pink but after that it grew like um, pink leaves like full moons so yeah i did air layering thinking of chopping but don't have cards to do her do chopping so it's just leaving like that it pro produced several pink leaves as you can see so every time it produces new leaf the another one leaf does drop so yeah looks brown and it just drops so that's my used to be pretty but really ugly pink princess I have uh, another pink princess. I bought it as a marble. Um, it's in my plant room. It's a small one, but um, yeah, I'll make a video of my philodendron soon <clears throat> because um, yeah, I don't have much philodendrons, but um, yeah, I have few. So this is my Hoya microphilia. Um, this is doing well in here in my dining room. Most of the Hoyas are in my plant room and uh, some in my son's room. But yeah, this macrophilia is here and she looks happy. And here is my, I would call it, um, not the only one because that is succulent as well. But this is um, the succulent, it, it, it's my son's succulent. He loves succulent but uh, his room is really really hot uh, like full sun all day so i have to um, bought her down because it was burned uh, it got burned in here so i have to take it off and um, yeah she's doing well in here in the dining room and here is my Spothu's pot. Um, I bought it as this one as Snow Queen, Silverian, Glacier, uh, Pulse and Jade, and Neon. But don't know if you know the difference between them, but these Glacier and Pulse and Jade looks like Enjoy to me, and this one looks Marble Queen. So I don't know if it's the different plants or it's just different names, but yeah, they looks nice. I like the mixed pot. I don't uh, fertilize this. I just water and just a very, very light fertilizer sometimes only because i just want to keep it like this i don't want it to become big so yeah it's doing well it's surviving and keeping the shape so that's my next photos pot and here is my thai constellation another one uh, if you have seen my first video i posted my monstera uh, variegated monstera video yeah she wasn't in there because she was in my dining room so i didn't bring it down because uh, there was too many monsters already so yeah that's another thai constellation of mine in my dining room this is the newest leaf and it has got double fenestration which is pretty good as well i have few other thai constellation as well but they are small so yeah, I have lots and I love monsters. <laughs> and here is my string of turtles. And this pot is made by my daughter. She's really, really creative and well talented, I would say. And um, yeah, 
this string of turtles i used to have like two strings in there so it's a screw you don't do anything with this uh, string of turtles really just leave it there and do their things and yeah it's growing well i don't even water them that often uh, whenever i remember i just water that's all and yeah even though the string the turtles the leaves are really small but i like it how they're growing and it's covering the pot which is really really cute look at the pot and see it's smiling so cute yeah and thank you my daughter for this lovely pot and here is my begonia snow cap this is really really pretty begonia as well i i wasn't into begonia but i really love this snow cap and the looking glass and um, yeah i have beningo as well if you have seen my previous video i have beningo pink and oh beningo white and uh, my friend sent me beningo pink so i have those as well and i have some arctic breeze and and ampoxius in the uh, terrarium so yeah i have quite a lot of begonia i would say like few but very small and i like to keep it like small <laughs> don't have many space and this is my manjula or a happy leaf pothos and uh, she's doing really nice as well and one of the stem is just finished all the whole loop and it's growing up here down here look it's the stem that went all over the loop and then came down and it's hanging now i like to hang it down but um yeah i don't know how it goes i'll see and one of the stem is up there already and one of the stem is there and there is few there are few stem down there as well so yeah let's see how it goes i accidentally broke one of the leaf in there and this one is a little bit bruised as well so yeah that's my manjula aka happy leaf pothos and that's my plants in my dining room don't have much but yeah that's enough i would say because i don't like too much in one place otherwise the they don't look really nice so yeah i hope you like the video please do like share and subscribe if you haven't done so and write in comment if you want to see any other type of video and um yeah i'll see you in the next video thank you